Valsmark Championship at Innisbrook Resort. Uh, so with the players extending late into Monday, like maybe even Tuesday if there's a playoff, we are going to see a lot of players skip it, right? So Sam Burns was the winner last year. What type of golfer are you looking at for this one? Like good putter or iron player, someone with a good course record, good recent form read? Yeah, I mean, this is another test of Florida golf at its finest. Another difficult track at Innisbrook, right? So you've seen Paul Casey win this in back-to-back -back years. It was, I believe, canceled due to COVID the year after. And then uh, last year it was Sam Burns. So you take a look at the past three winners, right? It's these guys who are really good with their irons. And you have to have a good putter. I know we keep on saying that, but especially in the Florida swing, you got to have someone who's not struggling or trying to find their putting who's maybe had a, a, you know, a shock week this week and it was really good, but then usually is a bad putter. I think you need someone who's consistently good on these greens because it's going to be extremely hard again. And you have 16, 17 and 18, the snake pit. That's really, really hard uh, finishing set of holes. So give me the guys that play well on tough tracks and who are really good putters. That's the one thing I've been focusing on this week. Jeff, Florida is just built different. <laughs> it definitely is, especially this week. Um, it, it, this is a, a really it, the Valspar a Copperhead uh, course, the resort course. It, it, it's a really, really good venue for the PGA Tour. A lot of long iron approaches. There's some dog legs mixed in. So the par fours all play a little bit longer than they kind of appear on the scorecard because there's tougher tee shots. You can't just smoke driver out there 350 yards on most holes. And it's just, it, I think it's going to be a, a, a kind of similar to what we're seeing this week. You're going to need players who are very strong tee to green. Everyone's going to miss some greens. Everyone's going to miss some fairways. You've got to be able to get those like long irons up, up in the air a little bit, hold some greens. And then when you do miss, you've got to be able to scramble a bit. And, and Reed mentioned the putting factor too. Yeah, you want guys who are in form and putting, but I would start with strokes gain tee to green and just go from there. And it sounds so simple, but if your player isn't kind of like hitting on, on all cylinders, I mean, they're going to struggle. Uh, and, and I think I would start also by when you're looking at approach, emphasize a little bit more long irons. Guys are coming in, you know, hitting close proximity with, you know, from 175 out because, again, just the way this course is built, it's also a little bit different in that it's got some some longer par threes on it. And I believe there's five par threes on this course. So it's yeah. a little bit different setup too. But it just tests players from, from like throughout the bag. It's not just a wedge fest. You hit your driver, then your wedge. You've got to hit all the different kind of shots on this course. It's going to be good. And I think you're going to actually see a lot of people who play well this week go into next week and play well, too. I'm just excited for Jeff to say Russell Knox is going to win next week for like the fifth time in a row.